Hey everyone, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your message not sending on your iPhone. So if you're having issues where you're trying to text someone and the message simply doesn't go through or it's not showing up on your a device this is what you want to do so let's get started the first thing you want to do is simply quit out the messages app and we just reopen it so swipe up like this and then close it out and if you have a home button just click on that home button and close out the app and then reopen the messages app and hopefully it's just a quick fix like that now the next thing you want to do is pull on the control menu or pull it up from the bottom if you have a home button iPhone put your phone on airplane mode briefly maybe like 30 seconds or so and then you're going to turn that off and what that does is a network refresh of your cellular data and Wi-Fi in case that there's an issue with your cellular signal on your iPhone. And next thing we want to do is go into our setting of our iPhone and then simply go to messages here and from there on we want to verify a few things here. First thing is we want to go down here ensure that send as SMS is turned on. If this is not turned on messages will only go through iMessage and not your carrier services so you want to turn that setting on also the next thing you also want to do is if you have iMessages on you need to make sure it's turned on and if it is turned on already just simply turn it off for a moment and turn it back on and that does a quick uh, refresh of iMessages so if iMessages isn't working for you and it should work and then verify under send and receive your phone number or email is showing up here so that way it's using your right number now after you have verified this it's time to go ahead and force restart our iphone in order to do that we're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold on to this side button until the screen goes completely black so i'm going to do volume up volume down one after another and then i hold on to that side button and make sure you press volume up and down quickly before holding on to this side button just like i am and you're going to wait until the app or logo appear so the screen's gonna go black which is fine we're still gonna keep on holding and once I see the Apple logo that's my cue to let go of that side button and it's just gonna basically shut down the phone software and reload the code so if it's a software related issue impacting messages not sending it will fix it this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be on your iPhone now the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone go to general and then verify that the date and the time is set correctly so that time you're seeing should be the same time to your local zone so if you're traveling and if it's not the right time make sure you adjust it you can adjust it by setting it manually by turning off set automatically and then manually set the date and time but for the most part you should have it set automatically and that should be the right time zone as well and the next thing you want to do is check if there's a carrier update sometimes carriers you have an update that they do and in order to get the update you have to be in your settings general and then about and then you wait on this page for about maybe five to ten seconds and a message should pop up if there is an update available now if there's no update available you won't get the message but if there is one that says carrier update just simply click ok and it will update your carrier now after that the next thing you want to do is in your settings again we're going to go to uh, general and then scroll down to transfer reset iPhone click on reset and we want to do a network reset so when you click on a network reset basically it resets things like saved Wi-Fi password any Bluetooth connected devices and also any network related setting that could be uh, impacting your phone it will not delete any of your personal data again so all of your photos videos apps everything will be on your phone it's just resetting the settings of the network themselves and it should take about 30 seconds to a minute to do finally after you did that and you simply still can't get messages to send it's time to see if you can update your phone sometimes a previous update might have caused issue where messages aren't working and so what you want to do is go in your settings go to general software update and check if there's an update available as you can see here my phone is up to date but if there's an update available it will say software update simply click on update then update uh, the software and make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged or connected to a charger and you have a strong Wi-Fi or cellular data in order to download the update give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for you to update your software now one last thing you can also do is to ensure that if you're sending something through iMessages is that iMessage service is working so Apple servers are working in order to check that you're going to open up a browser and simply search up Apple system 
status page. And under system status page, Apple provides uh, update with their systems on their server to make sure everything is working. As you can see right now, all services are working. But if I click on plus icon, I can see the individual services. So I'm going to look for things like iMessage here. So you search up here. As you can see, your iMessage says available, meaning the service is working. Now in a case that it says not available or there's an outage, you have to wait for Apple to fix it. Really can't do anything until Apple resolves it. And most of the time, Apple will resolve any issues with their server within a few hours at most, maybe a day or so. That shouldn't be an issue. And after doing all of this and your messages are still not sending, it might be something your carrier has to do on their end. So I recommend is calling your carrier. So whatever phone carrier you have, call them up and let them know your messages aren't going. And they can check to make sure your account is in good standing and everything on their side is working. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.